up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a video that somebody requested on one of my previous videos about traveling with wigs. Now this is something that for many years, even though I've had alopecia and worn wigs for a long time, I've never really like thought about this until recently because I guess I've been traveling a little bit more in the last year than I have like my whole life. I haven't really been on planes that much like my entire life. Like I've probably been on planes like, I don't know, a handful of times and most of those times are in the past year or two. <laughs> And this past, I guess, February, end of February, I was going through security and for the first time I was kind of thinking about how like, I'm going through security with a wig, like is that okay? Because typically, for someone who didn't have alopecia, I feel like going through security with a wig or something covering your head kind of seems like you're going in disguise. And so if you're wondering, my passport photo and all my ID photos, of course, have a picture with me with a wig on it. Especially because those pictures were taken at a time in my life where I kind of stuck with one wig as my own hair. And I considered that one wig, it was like a, a short blonde wig, I considered that wig my hair. So I guess it didn't really matter as much then because I never really changed my hair. It, it was always that, so it might as well have been like on all my ID pictures. But now I do change my wigs all the time, so when I do go through airport security and stuff, I kind of typically try to have a similar hairstyle, but either way, I feel like if, if your face matches the picture, it, I don't think it should matter. So basically, in my experience, from going through security with the wig, they never say anything, so I wouldn't worry about it. I just wouldn't mention it yourself. Like, I wouldn't offer up the information unless they asked. Obviously, don't lie, but I wouldn't be like, hey, this is a wig, do you want me to take it off? Because, like, they're probably not going to need you to do that. If they're looking at your passport or your ID and it has, like, picture of your face and your face looks exactly the same and like you're the sim same height and the same like everything else listed on your ID then I don't see any reason why they'd need to also see your hair as well. Especially considering for example like let's say in the picture you have a full head of hair and had lost your hair since and like don't have hair on your head anymore then regardless your hair is going to be different from the picture. People change their hair all the time so I guess it's not really like that's like the least likely thing that's going to be the same between the picture and the actual person that they're inspecting. So for security, I wouldn't really worry about it. It's never been a problem for me and I don't see why they would ever like stop you and pull you aside for wearing a wig. Again, don't lie about it if they ask, but I don't think it's necessary to offer up the information or to have a passport photo without a wig because again, my passport photo does have my wig in it. When I was a little girl, actually, I had a passport photo without a wig because I guess my parents like didn't really know what to do. I guess that just seemed like the right thing to do. And also because I think I wore hats at the time the picture was taken and I think hats are like definitely not okay but I don't really see the difference between like wigs and hats but I guess like I guess when it's a wig it kind of can be passed off as like a medical reason but either way I think like I said as long as your face is the same then that's all that should matter. Now let me get into what to do if you're traveling with wigs and you just want to carry wigs with you and don't want them to get messed up in your suitcase. So when I went to LA back in February, I brought, I wore my Cody through security, but I brought my Shiloh with me. So this is my Shiloh. She looks kind of gross right now. I used to be horrified when people referred to wigs as she, and like now I've started to do it because I've heard that so many times. I don't know, for some reason it creeps me out when people refer to wigs as like a living thing because it's like, like it's just an object. Like I don't want to like associate it with something like living. I don't know. That just creeps me out. Side story there. Okay, but <laughs> this wig is a little messed up right now because it's just been like sitting over there and I've just like put it through hell. But if I wanted to bring this wig with me, which I did, all I do is take a plastic bag like this, just like a large Ziploc bag. And I actually use this to store all of my wigs because, as you guys can probably imagine, I have a lot of wigs in my collection right now. And I'll do a whole other video about how to store wigs if you want me to do that. Comment below if you do. But this is very similar to how I do it. I just do the same thing and then store them in plastic tubs as opposed to putting them in my suitcase. And that also makes it really easy to travel as well because if you want to take a certain wig with you, it's already going to have its own little baggie and then you can just grab that and put it in the bag. So, take one of these bags take the wig and I kind of like make sure it's really neat and um, just kind of gently tuck if it's long tuck the long part inside the wig cap something else you can do is fill the wig cap with like stuffed tissue paper or something like that something to keep it from getting crushed but I think with long wigs it kind of suffices to just like put the hair inside of itself very gently and then just put it in the bag if you have a wig net I do recommend putting it in a wig net to keep it from getting messed up further, but honestly, especially with my older wig that I'm not going to be like super crazy careful about, then I just take this and I put it in the bag. And then it should be set to go straight in your suitcase. And to store them long term, I definitely would be a little bit more careful, like I definitely would put a wig net around it and I definitely would put like paper in the wig cap, 
But I think for traveling short term, it's not that big of a deal if you don't take all those precautions. And then again, when I'm storing them long term, since I have so many, I also label the bags. You can kind of see, it's, it's clear so it's hard to see, but you can see this is my Shiloh in Creamy Blonde. So I hope this video was helpful to any of you guys traveling with your wigs, your, these, if I was able to address any of the concerns you might have had going through airport security and all that stuff. I really don't think it should be a problem for you, but worst case scenario, if they do want to see you without your wig or your hat or whatever, you could just, I'm sure, politely ask them to step outside of the line and do it somewhere more private. So at least you only have to take it off in front of the security as opposed to everyone else waiting in line. So even if they do want you to take it off, you have options to kind of get yourself more privacy if you need. Comment below any other tips you have and other, any other questions you have. I'd be happy to answer your comments below or possibly make more videos about other questions you guys have. Or, as always, you can always ask me questions on my Tumblr, my Facebook page, on Instagram, or any of my other social media, which are all linked below if you want to check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.